Well, it was uh, tough conditions tonight, um, playing the second game. You know, was, uh, the first game was always a little safer than the second game. The second game was a lot of, because the crowd and all the humidity starts to get worse, the, the, the floor gets more slippery. Um, and uh, that, that's always been my experience out of town games. And there's been two games. It's always the second game is harder to play because there's so much moisture on the floor, it's hard to keep it clean. So uh, I was worried. I, honestly, I was worried for our players out there, especially after uh, Stanley fell. I was very worried uh, about someone getting hurt. And luckily, we were able to finish the game without anybody uh, getting hurt. Uh, uh, I think uh, it was in, uh, uh, Mitchell. Mitchell had a bad fall as well. Was, uh, and, uh, but just glad to be able to get through it. Uh, we came out well in the third quarter. Um, Justin and Stanley started really playing well together, and that's something we envision. Uh, we hope to see more of it. Uh, but I think the thing that Stanley does that's unique is that he, he makes everyone about around him much better. Uh, just because he's a big threat, uh, you have a lot of confidence when you're playing with him. And uh, we're still going to explore a lot of things to do with him. I mean, we only had a few days of practice, but we're hoping to explore more things, things like uh, uh, trying to get out in the open court more, uh, getting him in more isolation situations, uh, get him into the post. He's a really good post player. So we, we still have a lot to explore with him. The key for us, I think, is keeping up defensively. We lost uh, uh, a real key defender in our backcourt in Sol Mercado, and, and we're, we're looking to try to find someone to help replace him. Um, we traded for Julian to try to play that role, but uh, uh, he hasn't had enough playing time lately to really sink his teeth into that role, but we hope that he'll grow into that role that Sol Mercado played for us. Um, but, uh, I don't know. You know, as I told the player before the game, you know, we're going to be a lot better two weeks from now than we are tonight. You know, we're going to be a lot better uh, you know, a month or two after, more better than we are in two weeks. So we just hope that we're just going to continue to improve and get better as we explore all the possibilities with, uh, with Stanley and, and Justin and that lineup of uh, L.A. and Scotty. You know, just there's a lot of things we can do, big and small. How tough was it uh, playing under that kind of conditions? How tough was it playing under that kind of conditions? Well, it's just scary. That's all. You know, you, you don't. The last thing you want is a key guy to go down because of a slip. You know, to be honest. ACL injuries happen more from slips than anything else. And uh, um, you know, you hate to see a guy go down with that. Uh, but I, to, the, to the credit of the. Uh, of the Punos guys, they, they kept it, they really came out and, and, and I mean, every moment they could, they were out there, they're rubbing it and rubbing the court down. And I thought that was, uh, uh, you know, showed great work ethic, <laughs> honestly. You know, they weren't involved in the game, they were really concerned about keeping that court good for the players. So hats off to them for doing that. Uh, like I said, the game just get, it gets worse and worse as the, uh, as the game progresses, because the longer you go, the more moisture there is that sits on the floor. And the more the guys sweat, and, uh, and the more water, you know, the more drops there are on the floor, and, and it's just one little drop that makes a guy fly. So, again, we're, we're having to get through it. And yeah, have to get through it with a win. Is there a point in the game that you were kind of, you want to suggest that to follow Oh, yeah, I did. I, I mentioned it earlier, yeah. yeah. Uh, after Stanley fell, um, I was trying to get the, the commissioner's attention to uh, consider stopping the game, and because uh, I, I, I I was I was frightened for our players, and you know, uh, as much as we want to thrill the fans, and the fans are paramount with us, got to remember our players are the assets, and without you know those assets, uh, we can't put a good product on the floor for the fans. So I was worried about that. Definitely, definitely, all throughout the whole game. You didn't bring extra, extra shirt, extra shirt pools? Who, me? Yeah. I brought one. I have one in my bag. I'll, I'll, I'll get it on the bus ride home. <laughs> <laughs>
sweating. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm all the way through. <laughs> but this is, I mean, if it had been, it was lucky the game got, because I would have sweated a lot more <laughs> if it was tight. That for sure. Coach, how about starting this first game? Uh, was this something that you expect, this performance? Um, yeah, as I said earlier, you know, there's just so much more to explore in Stanley's game. You know, you know what we can do with them and, and uh, what kind of combinations we can, you know, you know we, that third quarter it revolved around Stanley and Justin uh, playing off each other. And uh, um, that, that wasn't anything we planned, that just happened. And we expect to see that more often. You get two guys like that, it's like a Steph Curry and a Kevin Durant. I mean, who do you, who do you guard? That's what we envisioned. Uh, but like I said, we still have to explore his ability to get in the open court. We have to find different ways to get him in isos because he's such a great one-on-one -on -one player. And we have to find ways to get him into the post. So there's still a lot to, right now he's just trying to figure out where he's supposed to be in the triangle, which is difficult when you only had a couple of days in practice. But he's a special player and he picked it up very well. <coughs> Coach, Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Coach. You're right. Boys better coming in here. <laughs>